that isn't focusing. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm doing a little bit of um, a recap on what I've been doing with alternate day fasting. I actually started doing a 42 hour fast. Um, it's been a protocol um, that I think Dr. Jason Fung um, was using from this book. It's a 42 hour fast. It's uh, 42, I've been doing 42 to 46 hours where you have an early dinner, like at 6 p.m. on day one. Day two, you actually fast and then you break your fast around noon, two o'clock on day three. I've been pushing it to like four o'clock. Um, and uh, I've been doing the alternate day fasting and uh, I've been trying to work a fasting schedule based, in, based around my schedule. Um, so I knew I was going out um, to eat with someone one of the days. So I actually skipped a day. So with a 42 hour fast, I waited another 24 hours. So I added uh, another uh, for 12 hours to 16 hours, something like that. So my 42 hour fast plus the 18 hour fast um, would push it to 50, 60 hours. So I was doing the 60 hour fast um, to 68 hour fast when I was pushing that. I might actually push it to 24 hours. So that 42 plus the 24, where you break your fast the next lunch. So you would actually wouldn't eat day two or day three, break your fast on day four. Um, and uh, so I haven't been doing the, the 42 hour fast. Actually, I've um, extended my fasting periods um, where I, I felt okay. Um, most of the times when you're doing like those fasting, one of the hardest times is where it gets tough is around 42, 46, 48 hours is in my experience has been the most difficult days um, to do the fast. Um, so what I've been doing is doing the, I'm actually eating a little bit later. So I'd probably, my eating window is between 6 p.m. or between 5 p.m. and like 8 or 9 p.m. So that's like a nine hour, or a, sorry, a, five to nine, so it's a four hour window where I'd eat. So I, I stopped eating around nine o'clock last night, um, or maybe 10, I had some uh, macadamia nuts and um, around 10 maybe. So I'm gonna go, so that was day one was yesterday. And then I'm starting another cycle. So day two, I will not eat. Day three, I will not eat. And then I'll break my fast on day four. So day one, I had, I ate, Day two, I, I'm not gonna eat. Day three, I'm not gonna eat. And then day four is when I break my fast. So I've been doing um, one day on, two days off, and then break your fast um, on that fourth day. So day one, I'm sorry, I guess day two and day three is where I don't eat. Um, and it's been interesting, man. Like once you get past that 48 hours, um, to me, 48 hours um, seems the toughest. But then after 48, hour 56, 58, hour 62, hour 68, hour 72, um, almost has the, the same power um, of hunger. It's, it's, it's still kind of there, but you've already reached that peak of where your body gets used to it. So that's kind of been my experience. So um, I have um, went through one cycle or two cycles of a uh, 42 hour fast, and then cycle three right now, um, I just finished a 72 hour fast, 68 to 72 hour fast. And then I'm starting my fourth cycle, which is going to be another, um, uh, I'm going to do, do another 72 hours. So another three day fast, um, and then break my fast on Monday. So, um, it's Saturday today. I'm not gonna eat today. I'm not gonna eat Sunday. And then I break my fast on Monday. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, my weight has been going up. So on the days that I fast, I go down. I usually walk around about 158 to 161 pounds. Um, on, so my feed day, like today or last night, I woke up this morning. I'm about 161 pounds or 160.5 or 159.8, something like that. Um, depends on my whether I use the bathroom or I drink my coffee and whatnot. And my fat percentage has been going up and down, up and down. Um, I'm not sure how accurate my um, fat loss monitor is, but I was 11% the other day. Um, I went up to 13%. I woke up at 12% today. So usually about a 3% three, 3 variance of my fat percentage. So I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, and it drives me crazy, but I've been just monitoring every day. Um, what I hope to do is to 
show where I'm at. I started out about 13.4%. Um, and then at the end of the, the 30 days, I'm gonna see how my body is. I might actually do extended. I might actually go 60 days. I don't know. I'm, I'm still gonna try to sort it out, see what makes sense. But um, yeah, so this is cycle four of alternate day fasting.